Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk about this new bow I got off of eBay and what I find very interesting about this bow um, it was listed as a 66 inch um, aluminum riser uh, takedown uh, uh, bow and what I found is that this is basically what is either rebranded or Lancaster Galaxy has rebranded this bow to be their Galaxy Meteor and um, on eBay if you if you compare the way that this uh, bow is set up you will easily see that it is exactly the same bow aluminum riser only comes in black from Lancaster or Galaxy um, all of them are only right-handed but um, on eBay this comes in black, blue, and red. Some of them show a black handle, some of them show a right, white handle. I got mine uh, this way as a white handle and um, it came in various uh, weights. Some different sellers, there's a lot of Chinese sellers that sell this. It's 20, 24, 26, 28. I don't recall if there's a 22, but I ordered this as a 26 pound. Um, limb and you know you can see it here here's the pair of them and the pair that came with it weren't even branded they're all pure black so that was nice there are no markings on this bow other than right here this um this logo indentation is Jungxing or j-u-n-x-i-n-g archery is the brand that they're selling it under in China. This is a, a different uh, arrow rest and plunger that I put on there. It actually comes with one stick-on type and one screw-in type, but um, I didn't want to use those. I wanted to upgrade and use something a little bit higher performance. So I ordered mine with the 26 pound limbs, which was this uh, unbranded pair, and then I took a chance and didn't know what which limbs it were but I took a chance and it was listed under eBay as in F155, which is this uh, this pair here. It's very odd. One side, the the lower, they put it on the, the back side, and then on the upper, they actually put the logo on the top side, so you never really see them at the same time. So it's kind of odd, but this is a 20-pound pair of limbs so that I can have a kind of a wide range of... Um, of weights for this bow which is going to be my uh, my loner bow and my kids I hope will grow into this bow it's 66 so they've got a ways to grow right now they're using a 54 inch bow so like I said if you actually watch Lancaster's um, video you will see that the way that the shape is you can see the cutouts here and the uh, all the features uh, mirror that one and Lancaster sells it for basically 119 for the same setup with uh, the two arrow rests, the bow limb string, and this very basic plastic um, sight. I didn't even set it up. It's it's plastic arms, and I just it just didn't appeal to me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but. Uh, I got this for, I actually talked to them and uh, I saw various uh, sellers uh, and one of them had his for make an offer. So I made an offer for 85 and he took it and then he sent it to me and I had a couple little chips. There's like chips here, here, here where my thumb is, there's a chip up here and there's just little chips on this on, on both sides. And so I took pictures of the chips and then he gave me a $10 discount and you know really for my loner bow chips it doesn't matter so fine 10 bucks off. So I got this ship for $75 which is to me a great price. I took a chance on it and actually I really love this bow. I was shooting a really nice grouping. It feels stable in my hand. I went with this um, this uh, mag magnetic arrow rest which is kind of like the wraparound type you need the two bolt system here to hold it in it comes with two bolts but if you put in the second bolt you won't you know your arrow is going to float all the way against the body so you really need that plunger to, to float the arrow a little bit off to get the center line to match up with the center line of your string and so I got this uh, I got them separately but some sellers on eBay are actually 
um, making a combo of, of this and they sent me the black one instead of the blue one which I requested so it's supposedly in the mail to be sent to me now and uh, I got this plunger set up so that it all rests on there. I actually had to bend this wire a little bit to get it just to fit just right and combine with bending and, and um, adjusting the, the setting on this uh, set screw. Uh, I got it uh, for where I feel like it's a uh, it's uh, resting right against the um, the arrows resting right in there just right how I want it and uh, of course I had to put in my own um, brass knock point but uh, the string is fine uh, it sets up nicely and this bow shoots really stable it's actually a, a what is it editor's pick for Lancaster archery for their their meteor and for one um, 20 I think it's a great price but if you don't mind buying it off eBay and getting a, a different color and taking a chance with uh, with uh, a seller from China you have a longer ship time and um, their quality control is obviously not going to be as good but I like the option of having colors and you know a couple of chips in here and there it didn't really matter to me and it's set up really nicely it's the bolt-on type you can watch Lancaster's video and it will show you the setup here and it I mean I fired a an SF um, Axiom which is an ILF riser and in some ways the the ILF um, um, riser and limb system some those limbs kind of float a little bit and sometimes you get a little bit of a limb rattle and you gotta adjust it just right to make it make it fit so sometimes these bolt-on bolt-on limbs are a little bit nicer because they're really stable and you know there's not going to be a lot of um, rattle in there so this bow for a starter bow I found it to be a great a great combination and at this price uh, I don't think you can beat it I got my setup for um, uh, with the $10 discount I got it for 75 bucks I paid 25 for the arrow rest with this plunger so that's a another 25 so that put me up to 100 spent another 50 for my second pair of limbs for for two limbs two sets of limbs for 150 bucks delivered uh, that's a that's really a great price and you can't even get an extra pair of limbs from Lancaster uh, right now for the meteor so um, like I said this is uh, listed as Jungshing F155 um, some of the sellers don't even list it as um, Jungshing, but you will see some of the logos and some of the lens. You'll you notice this this logo here, and uh, I think it's the exact same bow for uh, a much better price. If you want to work with a seller that's not going to have the customer service of Lancaster, I love Lancaster. I think they do a great job, and even at 120, I think it's a great bow, and uh, I'm shooting just as well as my ILF. Um, carbon bow so um, for me it's it's doing the job quite nicely so uh, I think it's a great bow for the for a starter for the price thanks